Bonjour, salut, hey everyone, I'm Tiff. I'm an American living in Paris, here to share all about my life abroad and the lessons learned during my time here. And today we are in Chateau d'Eau. So today I'm in Chateau d'Eau, which is home to all of the black beauty supply stores and hair salons, because um, I do need to pick up a few things. Bay needs to get his hair cut. So figured I'd show you guys around Chateau d'Eau today, because I know I've gotten a lot of questions on you know, where to get black beauty products out here in Paris. So that's what we're doing today. Also, we'll probably go get my eyebrows done, because it has been quite a while. Um, go to a really cool health and wellness shop out here and go to one of my favorite black owned restaurants that's in Chateau d'Eau. So more to come. And I thought that this video was right on time given the current state of the world and you know, I'm sure you all are aware of what's going on right now in regards to the black community. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you've been probably seeing me post a lot on my thoughts, um, definitely more to come. Um, I do also want to get a video up around, you know, being black in America versus black in Paris, because I do think that it's something that's going on worldwide. So definitely more to come on that. But today, as I needed to come to Chateau d'Eau to get some hair stuff, figured I'd take you guys around with me and kind of show you what this area looks like, um, where I go to get my hair products and things like that. So stay tuned. And as I've shared in other videos, which you probably have seen out here, the men can be a bit aggressive, you know, just trying to get people into the hair salons and things like that. Um, so I'm sure you'll see some of that in this video today, too. And it is popping out here because Paris don't play and on June 2nd, this is real, y'all. This is real. This is what Chateau d'Eau is about. Merci, okay. La Jesus. Headed to my eyebrow shop. I really hope that they're open. So they asked us to wait outside, still implementing some social distancing measures. So we're going to wait and then head in for me to get these eyebrows done. I know! My eyebrows have missed you. <laughs> she didn't miss me. I like to miss me. I love that. <laughs> I miss you too. Eyebrows done, looking good, looking great. Now we're about to go into one of my favorite health and wellness shops in Paris. Place right here. So again, this is one of my favorite health and wellness spots. This is where I get all of my powders. Um, what do they have here? This is where I got my matcha and moringa powders. They also have a lot of amazing detox teas over here. So I really 
really came because I needed some Epsom salt, which I found. Awesome. And then I'm also getting some sage. All right, got my eyebrows done. I got the products that I needed from that wellness shop. It's actually an Ayurvedic um, shop. So really, really cool shop in Paris. And now I am on the way to get some beauty supply products from the stores out here. Um, you know, my hair, my shampoo, things like that. So let's get to it. Okay, so we are here in Prestige 55. Again, my favorite beauty supply shop in Chateau d'Eau. Um, what I get here is my black soap. I always get that here. And then I also get my um, hair here as well. So I'll show you the type of hair that I get. So this is the hair that I get. Um, they actually only have one pack in number two, which is the kind that I get. So we're gonna go to another store to see if they have any more. Honest guys, when I first came here, I was shocked that I could find all of my black beauty supplies um, out here in Paris in these shops. They have everything. God, my camera just died. Um, so I'm gonna shoot the rest of the Chateau d'Eau experience on my phone. Um, so I got what I needed from Pre Prestige 55. Um, they didn't have all of the hair that I needed, so we might need to go into another beauty supply store, which I'll show you. But right now we are on the way to one of my favorite black owned restaurants in Paris. It's called Jaja by Le Tricycle. Um, and they serve Jamaican vegan food. So, so good guys. Um, so I'll show you around when I get inside. So upsetting. I'll have to take you guys here next time. Um, but it's an awesome restaurant. Like I love, love, love this place. Ooh. Oh, so upsetting that it was closed. But we're looking for another. Um, beauty supply store for me to get the rest of my hair now. Huh? No, Mexi. There they go again. Alright, so I think we're gonna go into this one. This one is also called Prestige, but it's not the same store that I went into earlier. So let's go. Um, so they didn't have my hair in there either, or the color that I wanted. So we're off to one more. And if not, I'll just get a different color because we got things to do. Alright, so we only found one more pack in that other store, but about to walk to the barber so that Bay can get his hair cut. So I'll show you guys around when we get in there too. So we came back out because we have to wait a bit before he can get his hair cut. But yeah, guys, this is Chateau d'Eau. This is where I come to get all of my stuff. As you can see, a lot of black owned businesses over here, black owned beauty supply shops, salons, barber shops. Like this is definitely the place to go um, if you're looking to get your hair done out here in Paris. 
and it's funny because when I first moved out here I literally had no idea where to get my hair done but knew that it needed to get done one way or another um, and I had actually just brought a bunch of packs of hair from the United States because I didn't know what you know would be looking out looking like out here and through my MBA program there was this guy this French guy who I was talking to and he was like oh my gosh you need to go to Chateau d'Eau if you want to get your hair done and I was like what because his sister would come out here um, to get like one braid put in her hair. Um, his sister's white, like they're, they're white French. But she would come out here all the time to get uh, a braid put in her, her hair. So he was like, I think that that's the place to go. And the first time I set foot over here, I was like, oh my God, this is heaven for me. Like in many ways, it reminded me of like Black Harlem, you know, with all the, the shops, the black beauty supply shops and things like that and hair salons. But um, yeah, guys, this is absolutely the place to come if you need to get your hair done, you need your beauty supply products. And for me, what was so interesting is that they literally have a lot of the stuff that I was getting in the States. Um, I think some of the brands of hair are a bit different, but you know, for the most part, I'm able to get everything that I was getting in the States. All of my hair products that I was getting, um, I can find them here in Paris, which is awesome. So I'm never leaving. They didn't want me filming him getting his hair cut, which is fine. Um, but I'm gonna leave him for a second and go back out to see if I can find some more hair. I also think I might get some shea butter. So let's see if I can find my hair in any of these shops. Lord Jesus, I was only able to find two packs so far. Um, but like I said, if not, I'll just get another color, so. Yes, I found the hair. Guys, I got like 10 packs of this hair so I don't have to come back so often, but glad to have all my stuff. I also got some castor oil, some sheen spray. I think when I get home, I'll show you guys everything I got just from shopping out here. But I'm so happy I found my hair. Now, last but not least, see if I can find some shea butter and then we go. Guys, this is Manuel. He's the owner of this beauty shop. Ça va? Ça va. How long have you had the shop for? Um, oh, for 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Wow, that's a really long time. Yeah. And how has business been with uh, COVID? With COVID is, is very, very slow. Slow? Yeah, very slow at the moment, so yeah. we try to cope with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you feel like more people are coming into the shops now that like the yes, restaurants yeah, like, are open yeah, and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Sure. All right, thank you. Thank you. See you. All right, they didn't have my shea butter, but I did get some other products. Y'all, I need to just be done because the more I go into these shops, the more things I want to get. So done and done. That has to be the last stop because mm -mm, I can't keep buying more stuff. So yeah, it's popping out here, guys, still. And a lot of the restaurants started opening back up to allow people to sit um, at least on the terrace on June 2nd. So I'm definitely seeing a lot more people out at restaurants, at least in the, um, the open area, like the outside area where they can sit. So, you know, it's been nice to see that Paris is slowly but surely kind of um, getting back to normal. People are out and about shopping, walking their dogs, doing what they do. Uh, so it's nice. It's really nice to see people out again but um still still staying safe for sure like um we actually took an uber over here just because i still don't 
feel safe taking the metro and even in the uber it said you know you must have your mask on to be in the uber a lot of stores also say that you must have a mask on even when i was getting my eyebrows done you know they were definitely making sure people were waiting outside and not inside you know just to kind of try and have some some distancing but um some social distancing but yeah guys paris is uh people are out people are out people are doing their thing hopefully it stays this way and we don't see a wave too um that's my my biggest fear but all is good That wraps up this little quick tour of Chateau d'Eau. I'm about to get in an Uber to get back home because like I said, I am not getting on these metros just yet. Um, but when I get home, I will show you guys everything that I got. So stay tuned. Got back home, changed, got myself together, and now I'm about to show you all the stuff that I got from Chateau d'Eau. All right, so as you can see, I got multiple packs of hair. I got 10 packs. I usually put um, five packs in at a time every time that I get my hair done, but I just got 10 this time because I'm not sure how often I'll be going back and forth to Chateau d'Eau. I also got my olive oil sheen spray, which you can also get in the States. I think it's like, five euros out here. My black soap, love this stuff. Um, I used to get this in Harlem all the time. Um, my Jamaican castor oil, this was $6.99. Got some hair cleanse, like leave-in, kind of like a dry shampoo situation. I got my Cantu shampoo and condi conditioner. So this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner, and out here they're around eight euros. I also got some Jojoba oil. I don't know if it's jojoba. I think it's jojoba. I got some of that. This was five euros in the beauty supply store. Also got some pure castor oil. So from that wellness shop, I got some Epsom salt as I shared. Um, so this was around eight euros. And I actually got it because um, just last night I did an energy healing session and the instructor was telling me that, you know, usually right after energy healing sessions, it's really good to wash with Epsom salt. And I also got some sage. This was around 10 euros. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything that I got today. I feel like everything is similar price to the United States. But again, I was just so excited that I could find a lot of my black hair care products out here in Paris because that was my number one concern. Like, how am I going to get my hair done? Do they have the products that I need? And honestly, you can find everything out here everything. So that's it from me guys. Just really wanted to show you around Chateau d'Eau and where to get the black hair care products as well as the products that I typically get. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. <laughs>